uh, welcome back to my channel. Okay, so today I have a review tutorial for you. Um, and um, what I'm testing out today are 100% real nail polish strips. And these are Color Street. And um, they were sent to me by Mallory Fortune uh, from Nal uh, Mallory's Nail Bar. Um, originally, I had seen these on um, Patty's Polish Corner, um, and I just thought they were really pretty. Um, I've been following Patty's um, Instagram and her YouTube, like, oh gosh, probably like a year now, um, and she's always recommended some really cool products. Um, yeah, she's been my total nail enabler. Um, but um, anyway, so when <laughs> uh, Mallory contacted me and asked me if I wanted to try them, I said sure, um, because I saw how uh, much Patty liked them. So I figured, um, yeah, what the heck, I will try them. So um, these are the ones um, that Mallory sent me. I just asked her to pick a set. I didn't, I didn't really know which ones to pick. Um, they have so many... Um, different ones. Um, these ones, get my camera to focus, is called Underground Magic. Um, and she also sent me their fall winter catalog. And I was looking at it and oh my gosh, it's amazing how many different colors. Okay, so they have solids. So these are all the different solids. And then they have glitters and there. Okay, and then they have glitter designs. So these are all of them. And this is the one underground magic, the one that she had sent me. And they have glitter dipped. And then they have ones with nail art designs. So you can get ones with different designs. I know I'm going over this really fast, um, but if there's something that you wanna see, just let me know. Or you can go and check out her website. I'm, I will leave everything listed below. So then they also have these French versions and then her info. And then it also tells you a little bit about the company. And it says, what are nail polish strips? I'm not gonna read all this. I'll just, you can just screenshot this. But um, they're chip resistant, long lasting color. They're supposed to last up to 14 days. So what I'm gonna do today is um, I'm gonna put them on my right hand. I'm really harsh with my right hand. As you know, um, I've mentioned before, I type, I'm like constantly doing stuff. So I'm going to test them out for you. Um, there's no dry time, smudges, streaks. It's a hundred percent real nail polish formula with base coat, color, and top coat all in one. Um, convenient and travel friendly, easily removed with nail polish remover. Flexible can be stretched perfect fit and they're made in the US and then they have instructions so remove clear cover peel polish strip remove tab and select and apply to nail and stretch to fit gently file excess or remove with fingernail and then it's got the French manicure instructions and then they also have, um, you can do, I guess, parties and then booking. And then um, also, if you want to become a stylist, they have a starter kit. So that is the whole book. And um, she also sent me um, a little pack of a couple, I guess, sample. Doo -doo -doo. Should pull all those out beforehand. Oh, um, I got her business card, so I'll post all her information. 
she's got her website, she's got Instagram, she's got Facebook. And this is kind of cool. She's got a, a loyalty rewards program. So if you buy um, product, then you'll get product for free. And free is always cool. Okay, so. And um, she also sent me a few different um, ones too. So this is, it's like a ready pink color. I'll have to look up Miami Beach. So that one's Miami Beach. And this gorgeous purple is Saigon Queen. Then she's got this cool mermaid one. Look at that. That's so cool. And that one's called Atlantis. And look at this. Look at the glitter. So pretty. This is Pacific Waters. And then this one, Coral Bay. And then they've got a flower one, which is very pretty. And this one's called Early Blooms. So that's just a few designs. Um, what I do kind of like about these is you can mix and match these. So you can add some sol solid colors with the glitter colors. Like whatever your imagination you want to do, what, like color combos, you can do it. Like there's no rules to this, which is really cool. Um, so, okay. So let's get started because this video is getting longer than I had planned. Okay, so let's do, do, do. shouldn't be using my fingernails so I'll just open this I haven't even opened it because I wanted to save this for you guys to see okay so it looks <laughs> like there's everything here that you need so a little tiny nail file that's very cute and um, nail prep pads and they're single use pads, so you get two. So one for each hand, and then you get your strips. And these are all the different sizes. Now these, I noticed, I kind of measured them through the pack against my toes. So, um, like these ones are huge. I could probably put them on my toes. So that's very cool. So multi-purpose, hands or feet. So that's really cool. Okay, so I'm um, just going to stop for a second where I'm going to get all set up and uh, we'll get down to it. So I'm back and uh, oops, let's, I don't want my camera to fall over. Okay, so I'm just going to I just don't want to fight with it <laughs> to open, so I'm just I'm cheating. I'm, on, I'm using my scissors. So we'll put these guys out of the way. So wait for a second. So I just want to open this. And I'm going to take out one strip. And I'm just going to put Okay, I'll do that after. <laughs> okay. Oh, got it, electricity. So these are all the strips. What's kind of cool is um, what I've noticed is if you've got shorter nails, um, you can totally um, use like one half and then the other half. So that would be total multi purpose. So should probably size up all my nails and then uh, we'll go from there hang on one sec okay so I think I've sized up so thumb middle or thumb index middle ring baby so what I'm going to do is clean off all my nails I've already taken off all my nail polish so just clean them off 
just like you would normally do before any manicure and then you just wait for it to dry and so I've got the instructions out so remove clear cover so that would be that one put that aside then peel polish strip make sure I stay on frame I'm not gonna show you me doing all of them I might just do one or two and then I'll show you the final look I just don't want the video to be too long and I'm just trying to figure out where I'm oh there duh okay so then I would peel that and then you can remove the tab and then you can select either side. So it's going to do the center. They're super sticky. So which is kind of nice, but I can still remove it if I don't like it. I'm not patting it right down. I'm just kind of placing it and then what I might do, I don't know if it tells you to do this or whatever, but I might get my silicone tool and kind of stretch it over. I probably should have watched a couple of Patty's um, videos before I started this. I, I've watched some, but I probably should have watched another one just to refresh my memory. But basically, I'm just kind of pushing it down and then pulling so it will um, adhere to my nail. My nails are fairly curvy, so I just want it to get out of whatever wrinkles I have. So, oh, and I was going to mention... Um, I'm going to link Patty's information below from um, Patty's Polish Corner. She actually has a giveaway going on right now. Um, so you can win a um, your own Color Street um, nail polish uh, strips. So I'm going to link her, her video below um, so you can check it out. So I just thought I'd mention that because... Giveaways are always fun. And these are gorgeous. Like, I don't know if you can... Like, look how pretty this is. I, I'll have to put, remember to put cuticle oil on. Now, so, see how... I'm trying to turn my thumb around. See how much extra I have. So, what I'm going to do... Is you can either file it down... Or you can cut it off with your fingernail. Because there's, oh, oh, look how easy that is. That's like super easy. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to save this just because I'm frugal. And I could probably do another little nail design. I can cut out like little pieces and um, do a little nail art with it. <laughs> Sorry. So, I'm just going to do this. And because they're 100% nail polish, you can remove them with acetone and, um, I went a little high, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to clean up the uh, little edges a bit. So let me just do that, and um, I will be right back. One moment. Okay, so I'm back, and look at this. So I had, I had it a little high on my cuticle, so I just went in with my cuticle brush, and um, and some acetone, and just um, 
cleaned up the edges but um, yeah this is very cool so I'll show you one more and um, then I'll I don't want to bore you so I'll just show you one more and then we'll um, I'll finish them all off camera and then come back with a final look um, but these are they're way easier to use than I thought like the other one I mean polish I mean I don't know if the other like you can get full decals you can get um, like other polish strips like other companies that put them out and I always found them like these are like super flexible like like they're bendy um, like it was just easy to put on and I like that um, you know if you have shorter nails you just use one half and then you use the other half so which is very cool so I think that so I kind of had a little accident with acetone so I kind of mixed up my my polish strips so um, yeah I think that's the right one yeah. okay so first off take off the clear which I think I already did yes I did <laughs> losing my mind huh okay now I'm gonna take off this strip there we go now you don't have to I don't think you have to take this off I think it's more if you I was kind of thinking that I'm gonna leave it on just to see so I'm not gonna go too high in my cuticle I mean it's okay if I do because I know that I can remove it but look there so and I'm just gonna smooth it down with my silicone tool you can use your finger you can use an orange stick I'm sure I'm just using my silicone tool because I'm used to it and um, I think this is easier for me to use like so there's no right wrong or right way of doing these and which I was thinking after like if you get like you can stamp on these you can add little nail art you can add bling because these are nail polish actual real nail polish so you can do whatever nail art or designs that you want to do so which I think is really cool and see this one's a little wider than my finger so not a big deal I will just remove it and just clean up my edges so now I'm just gonna take my fingernail And I just want to gently cut off the edges. You can do the nail file, you can do scissors, or you can do this. There. So, very cool. Okay. Let me get my, my little backing again because. I want to save this because I'm thinking yeah, it'll probably fit so that's kind of cool that um, you can get like they give you enough to do a full set of hands but you get extra bits so you can mix and match and do full manicures and like I said, um, if I want to add this to another manicure, I can cut it out, um, like strips. There's so many possibilities. I'm like, sorry, my mind is racing right now. <laughs> I'm thinking, oh, I can do this and I can do that. So I will come back. I want to do a full wear test on this Manny. I mean, it's gorgeous. Who wants, who does not want to wear this for like a week? Um, but I'm going to do a full wear test on it for you and then I'll come back 
and let you know how I've done with it. And then also, because um, I'm going to have leftover little bits, I'm going to do, I'm going to do another manicure with it. So I'm just going to get some acetone. Hopefully, I don't spill it this time, because you know I'm a dork and I'm like so messy. Okay, so I figure I'll show you how I just kind of clean up my edges. It's super easy. So. Do, do, do. And then if you get a little bit of the overhang, what I do is I'll dip my brush in acetone and then I just kind of take the body of the brush and kind of tap to the edges of my nail and that kind of seals it in on the bottom I just I do that with um, like if I make uh, my own decals like stamping like reverse stamping that kind of thing so just a little tip so yeah these are really cool. And just a little more on this side. So there is strip number two. Look how gorgeous that is. Okay, so I'm just going to come back and um, show you the end result. One moment. Okay, so I'm back and um, this is the final look. I've cleaned up all the edges. Um, so final thoughts. Um, this particular one, um, this one's called Underground Magic. Absolutely gorgeous. I was just in the, the sunlight. I'm going to take a bunch of pictures so you can see. But um, so gorgeous. Like, so glittery. And I'm going to have trouble stop looking at my hands. Um, I Super easy to apply. Like, I did this on my right hand. And I'm right-handed. So... For me to be able to do it on um, my right hand was great. The, the, um, the strips are super flexible. You can bend them to your shapes of your nails because I have pretty, pretty curvy. I've got a pretty good C curve happening. Um, so I was able to, you can stretch them over. You can fit them nicely. Um, and I like the fact that you could use, um, like this one and this one, I used one strip. I used one strip here and then on my middle finger, I put the remaining on my baby finger. So I used three strips for one hand. So I still have five more strips. So um, super multi-purpose, you can do uh, multiple looks you can stamp on these you can do nail art um, because they're real polish so they're um, super multi-purpose and super easy to use and they have tons of colors so yeah I'm uh, I'm actually really impressed so I got get a huge huge thumbs up for me for these so now I'm just gonna put some cuticle oil on and then take some pictures for you um, but again these are the color street 100% um, um, nail polish strips the only thing I would suggest is maybe having like a, a ziploc bag um, to put because you don't want these to dry out so I'm gonna put the remaining ones in a ziploc bag so I can save them for um, 
use later. Um, but yeah, like, um, very impressed, very impressed indeed. So thank you to Mallory for sending these to me. And don't forget, um, I'm going to link um, Patty's Polish Corner below. Uh, go check out her channel. She does wonderful um, nail arts and reviews and things like that um, as well. Like I said, I've been following her for at least a year. Um, and um, yeah, and she's got a giveaway that you can win one of these. So thank you for watching and I hope you're having a great day. And uh, bye for now.